Hello it's Salimik, in today's video I will show you how to clean intake valves from this heavy carbon builder to this without using any expensive tool or using sand blaster which it will cost a lot if a certified professional do that for you so for this kind of cleaning the intake manifold has to be removed to get access to the intake valves for most cars it's not gonna be an easy job and it will be expensive to take the whole intake manifold out so for those of you who can't remove the intake manifold at home you can use CRC intake valve turbo cleaner. You're just gonna have to take the intake hose and spray it directly from there. Hold the RPM on 2000 and spray the cleaner. It will clean the whole intake including throttle body. That's with using spray cleaner. And there is another way which you can use a cleaner canister like this and fill it up with different kind of cleaners. These methods will work if you do it once a year. But if you remove the intake like I do in this video, it will be way better. I will make sure to put the links in the video description box below where I didn't remove the intake manifold for cleaning the intake valves. So here are the tools and the cleaners I will be using. I will be using WD-40 as a penetrating fluid to loosen up the carbon buildup. And then I will be using carb cleaner to dissolve the carbon. Along with that I will be using different size brushes to agitate the cleaner. And for safety caution I will be working with gloves and eye protection. Using shaft towel will be necessary to catch the carbon buildup while we clean the intake valves and not let it fly everywhere in the engine bay. So for today's intake valve cleaning, I had to remove intake manifold and didn't bother filming because for every car it will be different. I also have a video where I cleaned intake valves without removing for the same car. I will make sure to put the video link in the description box below and YouTube card if you wanna check it out. Before doing any intake valve cleaning, take a note. These three cylinders intake valves are in closed position and this one in open position. So we're not gonna use any cleaner on this one. Otherwise all the carbon will enter the cylinder and it will wash out all the oil from cylinder wall. And it will cause scratching the cylinder and smoke in the future. After cleaning these three intake valves, we're gonna turn the engine and we're gonna work on this one. Alright, let's start with WD-40. Because WD-40 works as a penetrating fluid, I will spray some on closed valve cylinders and leave it for a while to loosen up the dirt. Alright, it's been after 5 minutes. I'm gonna wear my eye protection and use carb cleaner along with using different size brushes. Carb cleaner instantly dissolves carbon buildup, but when the carbon buildup is old, it needs a little help with the brush. So I'm using detailing brush. It will take some time, but I will be sure that I won't scratch any valve or damage any valve seal. So avoid using wire brush and take your time with detailing brush. So after brushing for a few minutes, I hit it again with carb cleaner and look how much carbon buildup came out. Next, I had to use compressed air to try it out and show you what is the first cleaning stage looks like comparing to how it was before. It looks way better than before. So I wanted to try something else and use different kind of cleaners. Since the intake manifold already been removed, I'm gonna try engine degreaser and agitate it with different kind of brush and show you how it looks like after this. So each cylinder valves I cleaned it twice with engine degreaser and here's how it looks like after cleaning. So let's see how it was before cleaning. Here's how it looks like after cleaning with carb cleaner and brushes. And here's how it looks like after cleaning twice with engine degreaser. I did some tests of the camera and I could attach the brush on a drill and clean it much faster. If you have a room, use the drill and avoid using wire brush. On some cars you don't have room to work with a drill because the engine close to the firewall. So you're gonna have to take your time and clean it with a brush just like I did before. After cleaning all the intake valves, I taped 4 holes of the intake so I can wash this part of the engine. Since the intake manifold already been removed, I thought it's a good idea to clean this leaking oil from the old engine cover gasket, which I replaced it a while back. So after cleaning and drying engine bay, I wanted to replace intake manifold gasket. They were compressed all the way down and I'm sure it was leaking air from there. So I cleaned it first and then inserted the new gaskets. And here is the new gasket and the old gasket difference. Alright, everything is cleaned up and ready to be mounted on the engine just like we removed it before. We had a late start up because I disconnected the fuel line when I removed the intake manifold. After bleeding all the air, it will inject fuel. Then it will start the engine. So you will have a late start up only once. Alright, the engine is warmed up now and the engine has no lagging. After I took the car for a test drive, I could feel the engine gain power. I won't have heavy carbon buildup again because since I installed the oil catch can, 
intake manifold is dry and oil free. If you haven't watched that video, I will put the video in the description box below how I installed the oil catch can and how much oil catching and not letting burn and create carbon buildup on the intake valves and the piston head. Some of the tools I used in today's video. This compressor handle you can spray cleaner with it or you can use it as a normal drying handle and these brushes, links will be down below. Alright that's it for this video, hope the video was helpful and learned something new. If it was like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.